goes two ways. If you want to be respected for who you are, if you don't want to suffer prejudice for your religion, your uh, color of skin, your whatever, then you better give it back to people who are different from you. That's how it works. It's an exchange. I like to touch my vulva too. You have a clitoris there, Kayla, that probably feels good to touch the same way Keith's penis feels good when he touches it. We can probably relate. I am a school teacher currently teaching kindergarten. Oh, I'm also a drag performer. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? I think it might be a boyfriend. Reaction today was excellent. I got to say they were laughing and carrying on like youngsters do. Reading this book, I was thinking, maybe Rick doesn't have sexual feelings yet because he is a child. We're not going to hear any more from that delegate tonight. I ask that they be removed from the meeting. We became aware a few weeks ago that trans students, in particular students that were assigned a male gender birth, are allowed to use the same bathroom unsupervised as my 12 year old daughter. Creates an unsafe environment for people who identify as gender diverse. I'm going to have to ask you to um, end, your, end your delegation. Identified in the report, I would like to recommend that the Two Spirit and LGBTQIA plus action plan, as attached as Appendix 1, be approved. Stop this Stop. 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 Parents have had enough, students have had enough, and finally, after four decades of creeping sexual indoctrination, going completely unabated and unopposed, parents are fighting back. It's whites, it's Hispanics, it's Middle Eastern, it's Arabs. They're coming down, and they're very angry, and they lost their patience. On Wednesday, September 20th, in cities all across the country, the nation's parents and the nation's children are staging a walkout and then a protest. Got a couple of seasoned activists who are who've already said that they're willing to go over and, you know, take some pictures of license plates and take like these are people who are willing to do this. Um, <laughs> yeah. But parents and activists in favor of parents' rights are not going to be intimidated. The protests are going forward and Rebel News will be there to cover it. Let's make sure that you celebrate us like you force the celebration on us. Okay? You guys had Pride Day, Pride Week, Pride Season, and Pride Year. You have Pride flags everywhere. We're looking to put the Canadian flag everywhere. It's far more than just like a far-right transphobic protest. They are fundamentally racist. They are fundamentally anti-union. They are fundamentally queer and transphobic. And it's just a matter of time before they come to us. like thousands of people to me. People came out here to oppose what they described as sexual indoctrination of children being thrust upon them within public schools. The message that I heard over and over again was that people are not here to hate anyone, to denigrate anyone, to suppress or segregate or dehumanize anyone. It's a peaceful protest simply to defend the innocence and sanctity of children. Where is Pierre Polyev? Teachers are, teachers are there to be teaching math, science, history. Leave, leave the kids out of this gender ideology. Do you want to share some remarks with us? I guess not. Nobody wants to talk to me for some reason. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. We're trying to preserve Canada's kids for Canada's parents. Alex Alavar reporting for Ribbon News, and I'm currently in Montreal for the One Million March for Children. In response to this major event, some far left groups, along with big union like CUPE and PSAC, as well as Education Union. funded controlled opposition designed to demoralize the right. I really think that's what
what's going on here. I don't believe this is organic. I believe this is a combination of indoctrination and government funding to make us look small and helpless. We are not. People protested across Canada today over sex education in schools. They were well met by counter marches held by supporters of the sex ed curriculum. One of the big marches took place on Upper Wentworth Street on the Hamilton Mountain, and Al Sweeney was there. From Monsanto here, reporting for Apple News outside of Hamilton's. Really neat march for children taking place today outside of the Hamilton Wentworth School Board District. You can see behind me dueling protests between the counter far left union activists. Hate, period, should not be allowed. Love, not hate. Love, not hate. Love. Do you see any hate right now? Hate will turn on you next. No space for hate. Do you see any hateful things today? Rebel News here at Queen's Park in Toronto and folks I am at the South Lawn of Queen's Park. This is the site of a considerable counter demonstration to a gathering being held on the North Lawn. That would be the One Million March for Children demonstration. Quite frankly, finally, Mama and Papa Bear have awakened. This is like a play right out of Communism 101. Tear down the family unit, tear down society, build it back up as a... You Marx. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't? No, you don't. Okay, you don't know what you're talking about. You never read a book. I, I doubt it. By grammar, they and them, those are plural terms, but you're a singular person, are you not? Yes, I am. If you want to talk about diversity, look at this side. Okay, we've got more diversity, more cultural, ethnic, religious diversity on this side. Over there, it's a bunch of white university kids, to be quite blunt, right? It's far more than just like a far-right transphobic protest. They are fundamentally racist. They are fundamentally anti-union. They are fundamentally queer and transphobic. And it's just a matter of time before they come to us. Bila Gunn Reed for Rebel News here in beautiful Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm in the Queen City to cover just one iteration of the Million March for Children. Rebel News has a team of journalists deployed to cities all across the country to cover this demonstration in favor of parental autonomy, parental consent, and against the sexualization of children in the nation's classrooms. It doesn't belong in, in our education system. Our little kids are coming home, kids are coming home mixed up and don't understand and it's just wrong. It doesn't belong in education, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and that's it. What do I have to say to them? How dare you? I'm so here for Rebel News, and we are on location at the One Million March for Children protest that is taking place here in Calgary. We are kids alone. We are part of the One Million Nation. We, it's a grassroots movement. There's no political agenda behind it or nothing. All we're asking here is to leave our kids alone. Push this evil away. My kids, my choice, and keep their choice. This is about our children. We just want to talk. We will be heading to Vancouver next to show you what is happening there at 1 p.m. Girl or boy, what does it mean? They're so confused, right? Our kids are like a sponge. Like this, they have all crazy hair. If you look, they're all above the age of 40 years old and they don't have blue hair. There's no youth with them. We have exactly. all the future, all the kids with all us the right future, here. All the future, all the future. We gotta protect the kids and we gotta stop these Satanists. Leave us! They're kids Satanists! Alone. Nevertheless, I was here with my boots on the ground, two BC locations, Surrey and Coquitlam, and my colleague Alex took care of Vancouver for you. You can see all of that and many more cities at stopclassroomgrooming.com. That is well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview and thank you so much for the work that you do on behalf of the nation's My children. pleasure. It's, it, it's a real joy to see a counterbalance. Uh, thank you very much. The out-of-control activism over the last 40 years. 
Well, thank you for for covering this uh, Rebel News. I've, I've I've seen a lot of your work, and and thank you very much. Uh, you know, and there's a lot of independent journalists trying to cover this. And guess what? It's building organ organically, so people are coming together.